You can tell we're already cooking in here. Executive Chef Alex Chen from Boulevard is here. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. And you have started brunch recently at your restaurant. We have, sometime in December, right? So um, it's, been, it's been going really, really well. I think that uh, we're enjoying that, uh, that addition. How different is doing brunch compared to, say, what you would do if you're working the evening shift? Oh, it's a completely different dynamic. There's a lot of eggs. People just want it simple. Right. Uh, they want something simple staple? Simple staple. They want the eggs. They just want it, want it cooked perfectly. Should we get started? Yes, yeah, let's, let's get go. Started. What are you going to make for us this morning? So we're going to do some uh, of uh, uncle cut, so casserole eggs with the uh, uh, chorizo, uh, sauté spinach, and then uh, tomato and fennel sauce. Okay. okay. So Sounds let's great. get started. So can I get one of you guys to help me I just uh, with the cherry tomatoes? Yes. I just want to do a little mark right here. A little, little mark. Score. Just a little... Yeah, that's just a little straight. Yeah, just this two I right can do here. That. Yeah. Okay. And then just put it in here for ten seconds, and then just ten seconds. Yeah. And then okay. what I want you to do. I'm on it, Alex. Add the uh, agitate the the water over there okay. just for about five seconds, okay. and then slowly add the eggs in there so we can poach. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna poach eggs. You're gonna poach eggs. I'm gonna be here to guide you. So I'm taking the little one. Yeah. Right. Right in right. there. Ten okay. seconds. Okay. okay. Thank I'm you. Counting. And then you can add in the ice after. Can I throw the eggs in now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three. There we go. Slowly. Two. So One. the water's been uh, uh, slow simmer now, and uh, I have added a little bit of uh, vinegar so that the, so we can add it into the ice, sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's, okay. It's, okay. I, I it's all good. There we go. It's okay. all fine. What's the Double secret to poaching eggs? Because I screw these up. I've only tried it once at home, and it's, let me tell you, it's, it's a mess. It's all about uh, slow simmer water with a small amount of vinegar, oh. acidulated uh, uh, water, okay. just to help the uh, protein coagulate better. Okay. Well, and practice. Doing practice, it a practice. Lot, right? Your yeah. first eggs probably And then just let them sit in there? Maybe. Sit in there for okay. about uh, three minutes. Okay. So what I want now, it's just like, can you help me peel, just take it out? Yes. And then just peel the tomato. Can just like that. Hands? Yeah, of course. Okay. And we're just back it right here. here. Oh, Whoa. sorry, pardon me. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, so clean up the station a little bit. And I'm just going to do a... I'm just going to move you over to this okay. side. You've Sorry. cooked all over the world. Tell our viewers where you've cooked and what you've taken from each region that you've cooked. What you remember from each region. So I've, I've, I've been to, I was, I was at the Four Season uh, Toronto for a few years mm -hmm. and uh, Four Season Chicago. And uh, the last place I was at, the Beverly Hills Hotel in that uh, must Beverly have been Hills. Fun. So each place that you ever go to, you learn, you learn a different culture, you learn a different uh, dynamic, you, you, you take on different cuisine. Yes. Right? So, yeah, for, for each, each place that I've ever been to, it's always been interesting and, and you, just, you just have to give it 100% so that you can yeah. fully get what the city offer. Alex, I've peeled the tomatoes. Okay, there we go. So what do we want to do now? Just empty half of that tomato sauce in here. Okay. Yeah. I'm sauteing some spinach right now. Spread it evenly. And what we want over here, just maybe just do a little bit more. Okay. Just a little bit more. Good job, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll do a spinach right here, pre-saute spinach. This is what I'm doing right now. And just a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, just right, right, right here, two pounds. Oh, so two we can, pounds. Yeah. So we can make a small little space for the, for the egg. So I'm going to help mm -hmm. you. My, so, eggs are, my eggs are just starting to rise a little bit from the bottom of the... Uh, let me see what's going on here. Mm, I am super hungry. There's not a lot of eating on this shift, so this is fantastic, Alex. So just a little bit more. So when you do a brunch, uh, we talked about having staples, but you got to dress them up a little bit, right? right? Well, you do. As a chef. Right. So, um, yeah, this you know, is fancier but, than but, I make for my family. I, but, yeah. usually, <laughs> but usually we, we also want to keep it simple, too. Okay. You know, just about the seasonings, about the doing things properly. Yes. Getting your eggs runny the way you like it, that's also part of the challenge. Right? Okay. So what we have over here is pre-poached eggs, just like the way we, we, we demonstrated. Just like you did. Mine aren't going to look like that when they come out. <laughs> we'll pretend. It's a good thing we don't have an overhead camera to see my eggs in there. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is also going to cut the uh, chorizo. Do you have the, what's your most popular French item? I think that's still the classic, the Benedict. The classic Benedict, right? Benny. Yeah. Eggs Benedict. Uh, I think that the, um, the Tella stuff, uh, French toast is starting to get really popular also. Mm. And uh, yeah, we have a few other uh, interesting dishes that uh, we get to offer. This is pretty interesting. So, and then we have uh, sourdough bread that's been grilled. Yeah. Just, and then we rub it with a little bit of uh, garlic. 
Just uh, you can grill them, you can toast them in the oven with a little bit of olive oil, 350 degrees for about four minutes, five okay. minutes, depending on how crunchy you want right. it to be. You got this for your wife for breakfast in bed? Oh, as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So, tomatoes, lightly seasoned, salt, pepper, yes. a little bit of olive oil. Yes. Very nice. It looks beautiful. Thank you. It is making me so hungry. <laughs> it's going to be so tasty. And a small amount of cheese. We use Fontina. You can use mozzarella. You can use uh, Parmesan cheese. And we bake it in the oven for at uh, 350 degrees for five minutes, depending on how right. how the cheese. Melt the cheese. Yeah. And this is what it's going to look like when it comes out. Wow. Exactly. Right oh, and you put a little onion on top of that. A little fried onion on top of that, crispy fried onion. And then you have to garnish it with a oh, small amount of really uh, chervil. Good. <laughs> you get to try it first. I have to ask you, uh, I know you guys put in a lot of hours. What's a typical day like for you as a chef? How many hours do you put in? 12 to 14 hours is average. Wow. Well, especially right now when we try to get things uh, up and going right now. You know, we've been open for seven months. Yes. Yep. So it's just a lot of... Uh, I, I, a lot of wrinkles to be ironed out, right? Well, when I was there, it was very busy. So uh, you're you. doing well. Thank you. Yeah, it was delicious as well. Okay, give it a try. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off. You can, you can have the first bite if you'd like. But uh, thank you so much for coming in, thank Alex. You. Thank what you a pleasure it is to meet you. Cheers. And good luck with Boulevard and good luck with the brunch. Chef Alex Chen, and uh, you have a website? Hope we do. What's the website address? Mm. BoulevardVancouver.com. There we go. <laughs> and you can also follow Chef Alex on uh, Twitter Delicious. and Facebook. Oh, thank and you. thank you so much. And of course, the recipes are also available on our website, globalnews.ca slash BC. And look for weekend morning news, and there you'll find all of our Saturday chef's recipes. Just say 